Hey y'all, hey, if you are new here, my name is Denise and we are currently getting a view of my powder room downstairs. It is very lifeless, it's very dull, there's no color in here. It does have a coastal theme, which I'm trying to transition from. I just wanted to give this space a new look and that is what we are going to get accomplished today. So moving on to paint and prep, I went with the color Tidewater in Valspar Eggshell and it's a mix between a green and blue shade. It's really creamy and pastel and then I'm going to move on to the prep of the walls. I ran out of painter's tape so Luke did what he could at the top and then I finished up the bottom. And we purchased this painter's kit from Lowe's as well as that paint that you saw earlier. The paintbrush was also included in the kit but I already had taken it out because I just wanted to go ahead and get started and I forgot to film it until later. But that is what I'll be using to do my trim work on the walls. So everything that you are currently seeing right now was done in day one. This was a day two process for me because as you, as you all know or you probably don't know I am five months pregnant and it was a job so I did what I could in day one I did as much trim work as possible and this is day two of the process and I am going to be painting the surface of all the walls today and yes Lucas is home with me he is not in the way um but yeah i'm starting in the middle of the wall and i'm gonna just do it in phases because i will have to get on the ladder at some point but i'm moving as fast as i can and i do let lucas join in on the fun as you can see look at you painting <laughs> And here's what it looks like with all of the walls completely painted. I know it looks kind of weird um, right now, but the color is gorgeous. I assure you, it may not be as vibrant as it is in person on camera, but it is really pretty and I hope you guys are liking it as well. Again, the color is Tide Water. So before I replace the face plates to electrical outlets and things, I will be cleaning them with a Lysol spray as well as changing the light bulb that is currently missing. So moving on to the wall art and other decor that I'll use in the bathroom, I purchased this piece from Home Goods for $29.99 and I also purchased these three pieces from Home Goods as well and they were each $7.99. They are not sister pieces but I thought they would coordinate well with each other and I found this piece from Ross for $15.99 and I have the idea that I will hang it over the toilet. I found this paper towel holder on Amazon and it does have an adhesive strip so I'm going to connect it to the wall decor that I bought to go over the toilet.
and I'll be using these picture hangers that I purchased from Target to securely place all of the wall decor to the wall. And I'll be using the masking tape technique to help guide me as far as placing the wall decor on the wall. It is something that I have done in past videos. And after you have everything marked, you just take the tape and you stick it to the wall and it helps you as far as the placement for your picture hangers. So everything should be nice and leveled. I went ahead and continued the technique for the wall shelf that I purchased as well as the additional wall art decor just so I can get a visualization on what it was going to look like and did I have enough space for the pictures. Everything is looking pretty good in my opinion, so now let's get started with the decor pieces. That is a candle that I got from the Home Goods. It was $3.99. And it smells really good, by the way. I wish you guys could smell it. I'm not kidding. And this little plant is a succulent and it's inside of a metallic telephone. I'll give you guys a closer look. I'm not really happy with the placement of it right there, so I'm kind of eyeballing it to see if I should change it and that is the letter p for our last name yeah i ended up changing it I, I just wasn't liking that original position and the flower is also from home goods and it was 6.99 I'm also placing some personal wipes on top of a marble tray that I also found from Home Goods for the sweet price of $8.99. So this rug and the hand towel were both purchased from, you guessed it, Home Goods. And I'm actually hoping and praying that no one actually uses the hand towel because it is white and I would like it to stay that way and I have already provided paper towels. And you know what guys, people's trash deserves privacy too, so I opted to get a new trash can with a closed lid. And here's one last look at the before, before the great reveal. I'm so excited, I can hardly wait for you to see everything come together. Oh my god, look at, just look, wait, wait for it. Oh, isn't it so pretty? Do you love it? Please make sure you let me know how much you love it down in the comments. I'm going to quit talking now so you can bask in the ambience of it all. It's so cute.
Hey y'all, hey. So if you made it to the end of this video, please let me know what you thought of the transformation. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. <laughs> I am so in love with what I'm looking at and I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am. If you enjoyed it, give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!